So what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the Neuralink in Gertrude's head. The pros and cons of Neuralink. Elon Musk, founder of Tesla and SpaceX, burst onto the neuroscience scene in late August 2020 with Neuralink, which he called a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. If you are curious about Neuralink, you are at the right place. Here are the pros and cons of Neuralink. By the way, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our engaging videos and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now let's get into it. Pros Elon Musk's Neuralink puts computer chips in pigs' brains in bid to cure diseases. Implant could solve ailments such as memory loss, hearing loss, depression, and insomnia, Musk said. Billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk's neuroscience startup Neuralink unveiled a pig named Gertrude that has had a coin-sized computer chip in its brain for two months, showing off an early step toward the goal of curing human diseases with the same type of implant. Co-founded by Tesla Incorporated and SpaceX, CEO Musk in 2016, San Francisco Bay Area-based Neuralink aims to implant wireless brain-computer interfaces in the most complex human organ to help cure neurological conditions like Alzheimer's, dementia, and spinal cord injuries, and ultimately fuse humankind with artificial intelligence. An implantable device can actually solve these problems, Musk said, mentioning ailments such as memory loss, hearing loss, depression, and insomnia. Musk did not provide a timeline for those treatments, appearing to retreat from earlier statements that human trials would begin soon. Neuralink's first clinical trials with a small number of human patients would be aimed at treating paralysis or paraplegia. The company's head surgeon, Dr. Matthew McDougall, said, Neuroscientists unaffiliated with the company said the presentation indicated that Neuralink had made great strides but cautioned that longer studies were needed. Musk presented what he described as the Three Little Pigs demo. Gertrude, the pig with a Neuralink implant in the part of its brain that controls the snout, required some coaxing by Musk to appear on camera, but eventually began eating off of a stool and sniffing straw, triggering spikes on a graph tracking the animal's neural activity. Musk said the company had three pigs with two implants each and also revealed a pig that previously had an implant. They were healthy, happy, and indistinguishable from a normal pig, Musk said. Musk described Neuralink's chip, which is roughly 23 millimeters or 0.9 inch in diameter, as a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. I could have a Neuralink right now and you wouldn't know, Musk said. Maybe I do. One comment from a webcast viewer described the animals as cyborg. Gray Moffat, a University of Toronto neuroscience research fellow, said Neuralink's advancements were order of magnitude leaps beyond current science thanks to the novel chip size, portability, and wireless capabilities. Musk said the focus of the event was recruiting, not fundraising. Musk has a history of bringing together diverse experts to drastically accelerate the development of innovations previously limited to academic labs, including Rocket, Hyperloop, and electrical vehicle technologies through companies such as Tesla and SpaceX. Neuralink has received $158 million in funding, $100 million of which came from Musk, and employs about 100 people. Small devices that electronically stimulate nerves and brain areas to treat hearing loss and Parkinson's disease have been implanted in humans for decades. Cons When the company takes the production and its innovations on a different progression, with reasons such as mediocrity and rushing its experiments, Neuralink will surely face failure and catastrophic damages. Currently, the main concern for Neuralink is its chip's vulnerability to hacks and malicious attacks. This particular problem will be a massive cause of concern for its users and the company because of digital death. The problem would bring great harm to the person primarily when the chip is used for mobility. A digital death would render the person disabled and get additional injuries. Neuralink chip hack, human versus AI supremacy, AI takeover, rise in criminal activities, and rich supremacy are some of the factors that people should focus on. The first three are most likely impossible to happen. Technology is unpredictable, and different sinister forces such as hackers and thieves lurk in the online world. Neuralink's technology relies mostly on the internet and its services. The internet is full of dangers ranging from content to stakeholders who are more adept and skillful in the World Wide Web. The British anthology television series Black Mirror that can be watched through Netflix is a precursor for the world's rapidly evolving technology. 
Black Mirror presents a pure science fiction plot that serves as a mirror to technology dangers. While it shows the advantages at the start of every episode, disadvantages also come with. The same can be said for Neuralink and almost everything in the world. While Elon Musk and Neuralink may present the advantages of revolutionary technology, there are still dangers that will present itself once the chip's integration goes on its way. While these factors are purely opinionated, it presents a different point of view and standpoint regarding Neuralink. Elon Musk's popularity has led to a considerable fan base and belief in the products. Some people may be blinded and not see that everything in this world has its pros and cons. Previous eras were defined by obstacles between hackers and their targets, which were in place due to the inherent physical disconnect between humans and technology. However, what happens when that disconnect between humans and tech is blurred? When they're essentially one and the same? This is a top security concern of BCI tech like Neuralink. The technology's core promise, enabling the brain to communicate directly with computers, might also turn out to be its biggest security flaw. There would no longer be a separation between humans and computers that requires some form of authentication and judgment. Should a computing device literally connected to the brain, as Neuralink is, become hacked, the consequences could be catastrophic, giving hackers ultimate control over someone. If Neuralink penetrates deep into the human brain with high fidelity, what might hacking a human look like? Following traditional patterns, hackers would likely target individuals with high net worths and perhaps attempt to manipulate them into wiring millions of dollars to a hacker's offshore bank account. Executives in boardrooms could be hacked into making decisions, resulting in significant financial consequences. In a more alarming scenario, should a hacker take control of a large population of people, they could manipulate them to vote for a certain candidate, party, or issue, covertly toppling governments and entire state infrastructures. And in the most severe scenario, hacking a Neuralink-like device could turn hosts into programmable drone armies capable of doing anything their master wanted. Autopilot software features in cars have already resulted in deaths. Imagine what a hacked army of sentient beings could do. Hackers could intercept data traveling from the BCI to the brain, allowing them to gather sensitive data such as logins for emails and other systems. Researchers note that malicious software could be transmitted to the technology, allowing attackers to show the user images or feed fake versions of neural inputs to control the BCI. The teams do not believe all is lost, but urge BCI creators to take a multi-layered security approach when designing their systems, including antivirus software and encryption. Though these scenarios are far-fetched and Neuralink may still be far off, it's never too early to examine how the inevitable hacking could play out. Some experts believe that Singularity, the point at which artificial intelligence reaches that of human intelligence, will happen by 2045. And as cybersecurity professionals know all too well, hackers are usually one step ahead of security protocols. So it's not a matter of if, but when they will attack a Neuralink-type device. To be clear, technological process is fundamental to human progress. It always has and always will be. BCIs hold tremendous potential for good. However, technological progress must be done thoughtfully, keeping in mind one critical aspect of the human element of security, ethics. You should always think deep and carefully deliberate before you make your strategic move. Now is the time to develop a robust set of responsible big data, AI ethical frameworks and governance that companies must follow when developing such intrusive technology like BCIs. Neuralink is undeniably an innovative project, one expected of Elon Musk. His tendency to focus on the future rather than the perceived limitations in existence today guides others to see the strong potential of this technology or technologies like this one. Many are very eager to imagine more of what it will bring for the future of human intelligence. Do you want to try version 1? At this point, probably not, but we all can't speak for the future. What are your thoughts on your link? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we continue giving you the best contents. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.